It's Paul Clegg. I'm here with Jean McCormack from the Wellens Almshouses and she tells me there's a very very memorable date coming up which is the July the 26th Six. and what makes it memorable? Well it's memorable because that is the day that we commemorate Henry Llewellyn's death day which was in 1614 Wow! and we do not know when he was born so we have the only date that we have got that we feel we could use as a commemorative date is the date of his death which was then. And that's been going on for some time has it? Well Hannah started this before I came here and we have been doing it for six or seven years um, but obviously not during Covid so this is the first time we have opened up our little museum for three years probably because i know you've got a building at the end of the arm at the end of the row the central row um is i mean what's going to happen in there i you've got yes we've got um we've got some folders with information about llewellyn's arms houses we've got photographs we've got um some old um ledgers and books referring to meetings that used to go on here during the Victorian period. Um, well, there's plenty to see. Yeah, and I must admit, I've just, you've just yes, taken me up there. there. It's quite, anybody that's interested in history, it's fascinating. Yes, and it it's basically focuses on the Victorian period, but we have photographs of people that lived here well before we lived here when photographs were first taken. So those are quite interesting. And we've been able to name quite a lot of the old um residents from long ago yes and trustees as well. and trustees and yes photos so photos of trustees yes photos trustees. of trustees yeah. hannah i believe that you are as responsible for this event as anybody in fact you started the research into the history of the almshouses yes i came here in 2003 got very interested in these old houses and uh, started a bit of research on it and got more and more interested and we gathered quite a bit about Henry Llewellyn so it was difficult he was a bit of an elusive man I think so uh, then Jean came to live here and we both set off to do it and we found quite a bit and this what we are showing is more of the Victorian times so I think the the key thing is it's a way of seeing a little getting a little bit of a glimpse into the yes. history. Yes, uh, apparently, tea and biscuits are going to be available uh, for a donation, and any donations are more than welcome. They will go towards the food bank of Wells. Anybody is interested in coming down on the twenty sixth? It's from eleven till four, and we'd only ask one other thing: if you'd like comment and share this video yes. and promote it to your friends. Yes. We'll raise lots of money for the food bank and everybody with that much better informed yeah. about Llewellyn Almshouses and yeah. the founder. And as we have an open day on Wednesday anyhow, we will take it over to the following day, Wednesday. You get to meet Hannah, yes. Jean, and, Jean. and in the background, Margaret. Nice Yes. yes, lots of lovely people. Not sure without fun. <laughs> um, Manchester City supporters are particularly welcome. Yes, so please wear blue. <laughs> That's great. Thanks very much. <laughs>